Yes, it's our first Pinak bet this year. I'm excited. Our crop, our Ampalaya crop is a success. Thanks to your tips. And there will be a lecture. We'll be demonstrating how to make an Ilocano, an authentic Ilocan Pinak bet. Let's join Romilo at the shed for this mini Pinak bet festival. It's a warm day today. It's Saturday and this is the hottest day of the year. We have a heat wave here in Holland. It's 37 degrees centigrade. Translate that to Fahrenheit <laughs> to our North American viewers. That is about, I think about 120 Fahrenheit. This is a special day because it's our first pinak bet of the year. We have our Ampalaya reveal to our Ilocano viewers. This would be Pinakbet Ti Agpapaos. <laughs> yes, man and grace. Pinakbet Ti Agpapaos because we only have three uh, Ampalayas here. But we could hardly wait to cook Pinakbet. That's why we will grant our craving today for our Pinakbet, Ilocano Pinakbet. Agas the iliu, my iliu come in, so we'll be cooking, recreating the flavors of our homeland, the flavors of my barrio, the flavors of the Ilocano region here in the garden. Come on, let's reveal what we have harvested. And magtanggal na rin tayo ng damit mainit talaga. We, you have to forgive us. It's really warm. Since this is a special day, my man and Grace has uh, prepared the pergola with protection even from the oh, 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 oh. <laughs> protection from the dried leaves that would fall into our dish. Unwanted ingredients. Most of these are still young, but we can hardly wait. Let's see what we have. It's not just hot, there are mosquitoes. <laughs> not bad. I'm probably the smallest, which I wrap only in tissue paper. Go away. Yeah. Our pinak bed, our ampalaya. At this point, I'd like to thank, I'd like to thank my Kababalian Kung Taganda and allow me to deliver this in Bulinao, in my native Bulinao. Aba o salamat ko mo yun, Kababalian Kung Taganda, sa panseryo sumuyo sa tupat ko, no paano yan in protektawan ti si Parya, pinggat no kya, pumusyaw kya na in magmasilyaw. Aba o salamat si ti si Tagakarot, si Mulong. Aba o salamat ko mo yun, amen. From the bottom of my heart. Sawanin, mayin anan, pariyat tamo, and magpinakbet. Back to our presentation. Thank you. That was Bulinao, our native tongue in our anda. What do we need for this recipe? Our voiceover will give us a summary of our ingredients. Yes, no matter what you say, Romilo is true to the tradition of his home. Just uh, ginger, onion, garlic. Lots of tomatoes. Liempo. Two parts eggplant, one part uh, ampalaya, and baguong from Pangasinan. Tip. When cooking something with pork as sahog, it's best to prepare your sahog first. Have it sangkutsa, isangkutsa muna, and then while having it parboiled or while it's being sangkutsa, what a word, prepare your vegetables. A special thanks to Janine for our chopping board. Merci via Janine. She's from Belgium. And directly into our pot and some water at Isan Kutsanate. Hello, who you Morgan Burman? Thank you. Here. Madam Grace, we're concerned Hello. that we will run out of gas again, so we have a reserve. <laughs> Everything becomes difficult when it's hot. Even farming is difficult. <laughs> it's difficult to get, it's difficult even to think of the right <laughs> remarks to go. 
This is a recipe where we enjoy the privilege of cutting your ingredients as rough as possible. Yes, irregular. The gingers don't have to be finely sliced. The tomatoes neither. It's important to be generous with tomato for or with pinakbet. This is a vegetable stew recipe, so we use the tomato to provide the tomato sauce. I think this will be all. I have to stop before all the ingredients falls off the table. <laughs> Hmm, I hear our Yempo. Let's check it. It's even beginning to burn. Oh. You're surprised, I know. We don't have to saute this. This will. We don't have to add them in order. Let's work on the vegetables now. We need to immerse them in water to keep them from turning brown. Will it matter if they're brown? <laughs> I just learned this. My mother did this, so I'm doing it also. Our culinary traditions are passed on by the person who uh, played the role, played the kitchen role. It does not need to be an Ishar little mother. In some households, it's the father, or the lola, or si ate, or si inday, or si manang. Let's set this aside for now, and let's work on the ampalaya. They're used preferably young. The seeds haven't formed yet. You don't need to remove them. But this begins to turn yellow. They it has or they have the seeds have to be removed. Now comes the very characteristic of this dish. It's not sauteed hindito ginigisa. It's not uh, or we don't do sofrito. We combine everything and we don't add water. That's why it's called pinakbet. It's just a contraction of the Ilocano word pinakbet, meaning shrunk. Shrunk to its uses. The vegetables are shrunk and are stewed in their own juice. Pag dinagdagan mo ng tubig, if you add water to this, it becomes dinangdang and that's not pinakbet. Strictly, strictly, don't use bagoong alamang for this. It should be bagoong isda, preferably from Lingayen. I have here a Pangasinan product. What's up, man? This is an anomaly. We cannot cook pinakbet on this very small pot. So, Manang Grace comes to the rescue. Thank you, Mana. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, lang. <laughs> I come to help you. We cannot help it. Traditionally, the spices should be under. The, the pork belly should be at the bottom most. I have to force the pork bellies to the bottom. And the tomatoes.
I won't be showing you, but I'll be adding a bit into this. When the vegetables begin to shrink, you do this. Itar up, we say it in Ilkano. I don't know the equivalent <laughs> in Tagalog and in English. <laughs> it's really hot, that's why we had to uh, run the sprinklers. Give it a few more turns before it completely cuts. And voila, our pinak bread. Authentic Ilocano pinak bread, true to the tradition. Of course. From fresh harvest here at the garden. Even the Europeans are excited. Yeah. Our pinak bread, pride of our region, pride of our heritage as Ilocano, sharing it to the world. Join us again next time as we bring you here uh, in Channel 1, either from the garden or from our kitchen, the flavors of our country, our heritage, our cuisine. Your kuya here. Join in my name, Grace, Alex, and our cameraman, Bruno. And shall next time. Bye-bye.